You are listening to the Anxiety Podcast, where we support you to overcome anxiety and reduce stress. We will get vulnerable and it will be real. Here's your host, Tim J.P. Collins. Hello and welcome back to the Anxiety Podcast for the final daily dose of this week. Very excited you're with me. Hope you've been uh, finding the variety of the daily dose very interesting. Do you remember when I used to do anxiety variety? That was fun times. The good old days. Uh, daily dose is kind of cool though. I like it. I like thinking about the different topics and I hope you are enjoying it to do. Today, uh, for some philosophy, um, before I talk about that, um, join us at anxietypodcast.com and over there you can find out more information about the the patreon page where you can become a sponsor of the show become a member um you can also get the free resources there for you the end anxiety toolkit you can go to the contact page and ask me questions you can look at coaching you can look at the retreats there's just a you know a, a myriad of beautiful things there waiting for you go and check them out all right philosophy this um, was written on a uh, props to the, I think it's Ryan Holiday who writes the Daily Stoic, uh, an email newsletter called the Daily Stoic. Comes out on a daily basis. I've enjoyed some of his stuff. Um, I bought one of his pendants, which is like a necklace, which says Memento More on it, which I've talked about before, which means you're going to die. Um, and that's a reminder that we need to live, a reminder that we need to um not be afraid of anxiety because over the long term, um, something that happens to us today is just immaterial in 10 years time or in 50 years time or in 500 years time when we're all dead. Nobody remembers. Good, that, isn't it? <laughs> wipe, this, wipe the slate clean. But anyway, I enjoyed um, those emails that I get from the Daily Stoic and sometimes things on there really resonate with me, which I want to share with you. And one of them was just this simple quote. So just a nice short and sweet end to the week for you. This was written by Seneca, who was a famous Stoic from back in the day, maybe the most famous Stoic. And uh, he wrote the quote, when we are most more, sorry, I'm going to start that again. We are more often frightened than hurt. And we suffer more in imagination than in reality. I'm going to say that again. We are more often frightened than hurt and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. And when I read that, it tells me that anxiety isn't new. This has been something that's been around for a long, long time. This is very old. It's as old as mankind, the feelings of anxiety. So let's break it down into the two parts. The first one, we are more often frightened than hurt. I think for me means like for all the things that scare us, they don't actually cause us harm. And anxiety doesn't actually hurt us. Panic attacks feel awful, but they don't leave scars behind. They don't cut us open. They don't break bones or or even, in most cases, create lasting problems. They are transient. They come and go. For the amount of intensity and the horrific nature of how badly they feel, then they're gone again. And afterwards, I get it. We're, we're shaky. We're sweating. We've got the adrenaline dump. We might be fucking exhausted but they've gone, right? And weirdly, the other thing is, is as often we, you know, we feel the same things, and the next time, and they scare us again. So, for you, I think the bit to take away from this is perhaps you can reflect on the fact that you were unscathed, so as to not go as deep into the worry next time. I was talking to somebody today on a coaching call, and I said, if you're going into a a scenario you've been in before and this time you're feeling a bit better you have to really listen to that and once you've had anxiety in a situation at work in life in a supermarket in your house wherever you are in an airplane if you've had anxiety once you've come through the other side and lived to, to, to tell the tale remember that remember that time just after anxiety where you're like actually that wasn't as bad as i made it out to be in my mind that wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be remember that sit with it make it an indelible mark on you so that next time you're you're in the pregame where you're freaking out you can be like hang on a minute for context this wasn't as bad last time after the fact i got to remember that i got to bookmark it and drill it into my psyche so i don't go down the rabbit hole with it each time <clears throat> All right, the second part, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. 
Much of what we worry about just never materialises. It just doesn't. We chase it round our noggins day after day and it just doesn't do anything. It just sort of floats around. The epic fails we dream up in our minds often don't show up. Very rarely is anything as bad as we think it is. Because, you know, we we just go to that worst case scenario because that, that, that's the self-preservation part. You're kind of testing yourself to see if, the, if, it, if it all went to absolute shit, how bad could it go, right? And so the epic fails we dream up just don't show up and, and we somehow get our shit together and pull through each time only to fret again another day. And I think the last thing I'm going to say on this for today is, you know, I would love you to, if you're going to consider the worst case scenario, instead of that, or at least with as much gusto, I would encourage you to consider the best case scenario. We should consider that. So you've done the worst case scenario. It's all awful. What happens if it's amazing and you crush it and you love it and you, it's just so cool? And it's a high and it's a great feeling and it's a great experience and you've built confidence and people like you and the world keeps on spinning and the sun comes up and then it goes down. Best case scenarios happen all the time. And if the best case scenario happens because you thought it was going to happen, then you've just said to yourself, like, I called this right. I'm building confidence. This is good stuff. If a worst case scenario is dreamt up in your mind and then you pull through, it's not congruent right? So think about the best case scenarios. Think about if it goes well. That doesn't mean don't prepare. That doesn't mean, I mean, the anxiety is going to make you prepare anyway. So show up with all the good stuff intact, but then listen to some of that history and go in with that best case scenario in mind. I've done my research. I've done my planning. I am prepared. This is going to be successful for all those reasons right? Hope you've enjoyed the Daily Dose this week. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. If you would like to, I would like you to go and leave a review wherever you listen to this and uh, yeah, spread the good word of the Anxiety Podcast. Get out there for people who are struggling and need to hear the message. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic weekend. And remember, until next time, less anxiety, more life. Thank you for listening to the Anxiety Podcast. For more information, go to theanxietypodcast.com.